The name's the name's Cammy, I guess. <laughs> uh, we're we're doing a doing a wee potty on a, a clothing brand that started back like a few years ago. I I don't have a memory like I have a memory like I said, but, like I have no idea how many years back. But it was a few years back, wasn't it? How did, um, all right, how did you uh, how did you create it? Like, what what was the inspiration for even the the first creation of it? Well, I was actually pretty afraid of uh, how you'd ask me that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, it all, it all started a, a wee bit like, uh, you know, the Steve Jobs guy? Yeah, yeah. What and happened? Well, um, <laughs> you, mind, you mind he had that acid trip? <laughs> yeah. And he sort of had this epiphany, like, yeah. Apple, that's yep. it, that's the one. I suppose I was, it was like exactly the same thing. Like I was just, uh, it was just me and my buddy uh, in our room, and we were just uh, doing a, doing our thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like picked up a pad and like started doodling and sketching on this paper, and I like suddenly realised that like through like through school and stuff, I I was always drawing and like. Right. We used to have this like art art wall in school and stuff. I'd I'd dominate that stuff, man. <laughs> I'd always have like loads of art and stuff, but I just stopped. And then it wasn't until that time where I realised like, oh, I'm not so bad at this. So I was, and I realised like, why why aren't I doing this more often when I could like apply it to something? Yeah. So that's where I kind of all kicked off and all began. Yeah. And then you never looked back. Yeah, man, the stars sort of aligned with that, bang, and then. Uh, so what was the uh, what was the inspiration? <laughs> what was the inspiration behind the name? Mousy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I gotta give you the honest answer, mate. It was the uh, it was you know like you get on the Xbox, like, <laughs> like yeah, you get different profiles you can sign yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? We we were playing Xbox, and like one of them uh, was like one of the profiles was mostly. <laughs> and, we're, and when we were both tripping balls, we were like, "Oh, <laughs> we we're like, wait, that name is class." <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't like any crazy thing, we're like oh yeah, like combining two names together with like deep meaning. It was right. It was like, you just something and you're like, yeah, that seems cool, and you just went with it. Yeah, mate. We we're like, well, it rings in the head. Like, it's a nice, uh, yeah. it's a nice word to say. It, like, words it rolls off the tongue, nice. So, uh, yeah, yeah a, ni- a nice aesthetic name for a nice aesthetic brand, I suppose. Nice. I mean, I, I agree. Um, it seems like there's a, a common theme going on here that tripping okay. like equates to the brand. <laughs> Is this, is this true? Am I wrong in saying that? Mm, it's a simple fact of life, isn't it? <laughs> so do you think there's, um, there is like a way of uh, accessing your creative mind through hallucinogenics? Um, well, when we originally made the brand, uh, our, our clothing label, I was pretty determined just to do designs um, that were created on like psychedelic drugs. Right. But then I realized it's just not viable. It's just not viable. <laughs> it's not a viable option. It's just like, that was absolutely ridiculous. I mean, this was me like, like 16, 17 at the time. And <laughs> it's just, it was in cuckoo land decision. That's what it <laughs> was. Like, Cause you just end up doing, you end up in just like, you think you're going to go into a trip like do, go and just design something amazing and then you end up like analyzing spoons in your drawer like, <laughs> <laughs> you know like it just doesn't never goes the way but in moderation like if you just like have like a wee trip here and there right usually something quite nice comes out of it right? yeah yeah right so initially you wanted to create every uh aspect of that through hallucinogenic you wanted all the all the on our pcs to be on it but yeah. so you didn't know that wasn't that wasn't the way to go. <laughs> so so um, far, there's only one. Just one. Just one. Yeah. You to say which one that is. Which one it is? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I can I can tell you the colours. It's uh, black, pink, like a sort of pastely pink and blue, 
and right. it's a sort of like wavy dream guy. It was a, it was more of a self portrait at the time. Like it's like uh-huh. if you look at it, if you look at it and look at the piece, uh, it's exactly how I was feeling in that moment. Just really cush there. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you were feeling. So you you depicted how you were feeling in the moment rather than what you were seeing. Yeah, through like shapes and colours. Right. Um, like right. yellow pastel colours. So we'll come back to Mousy in a, a minute, but I was just going to ask, is there anything else you do out with Mousy? Like, is there any other creative outlets like that aren't just visual? Um, I really just focus in on, on Mousy. I mean, yeah. um, I, I, I like I play guitar and stuff, but I don't know. Me, me, I do listen to a lot of music, but I don't make any. Uh, do you think like other outlets like music have an influence on the brand? Mm. Yeah, I make a lot. Of, uh, I will not make a tune. Not make a tune. I won't make a design without listening to a tune, or right. a song. So maybe subconsciously, the song has something to do with the work right. that uh, the work that I do. Like the 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 finished design has something to do with the song. Right, um, but I typically don't base uh, my designs off any sort of music. The right. way I feel about it is, uh, I'm always conscious of the fact that I, I feel like I've got like a, a creative bar, like a creative health bar. <laughs> so if you're doing too many creative things at once, like designing visual art and audio stuff, like your bar depletes really fast and mm. I feel like you run, you run out of creativity and yeah. because it takes a lot out of yourself. Uh, your, your brain your brain never feels as destroyed as when you've just finished a design. <laughs> yeah. like you can do all the tests in the world but there's something about creating something which uh, definitely drives drives your brain to new depths. A different type of mental energy, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And it's, I'd, I like try to just focus that energy on like the designs. So how long does it take to like to have the concept of a design and then have it on a product? Uh, so like how do I develop my ideas? Yeah. Like what's your That's the thing. Uh, they're fairly uh, fairly spontaneous. Yeah. So I believe that if you just get a design done like with the I usually give myself a three to six hour time frame. Right. Do a design. If it takes longer than that, fair enough. But I found that after that time, it, it goes out with a work of love, and mm. you, it starts to feel like more of a chore. Yeah. So like it, yeah, like there's definitely something to just keeping within a time frame and blasting out something really nice, and then and then just leaving it how it is. Otherwise, you. You become victim to overwork and stuff. Mm. It's just, it is pretty bad. You can work on a piece for as long as you want. It's just that you've got to know when to say that's it. Yeah. So <laughs> how long, often less is more? How how often, like a, in a week, will you find yourself drawing and sketching and working on it? Uh, well, I tend not to have a, any sort of schedule. I mean, mm. um, <clears throat> I've a strong believer in just doing things when you feel like it, especially, well, <laughs> not for life, <laughs> but for, uh, for creativity anyway. Yeah, for creativity. I think it's important not to force yourself to do it. Yeah. Because right now at the minute, um, things are kind of kicking off and there's lots going on um, mm. uh, with Mousy. So I'm really motivated at the minute. I've been drawing every day, like making lots and lots of art. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by there's a lot kicking off right now? Oh, well, uh, in terms of like activity, uh, they've just right. been releasing a lot more designs than usual. Right. Uh, interacting a wee bit more with the, the Mousy fans, the Mousy boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Mousy fans. Yeah, exactly. Is uh, yeah, I, I suppose I kind of live under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a guy that's never on his phone. I don't right. really spend much time on social media, so I find that aspect of running mostly really difficult. 
Right, right. Because <clears throat> I just like, I just not very uh, social media savvy. Right. So uh, what about why? Uh, why do you not? Is it, you don't like social media? No, I, I just <laughs> think it's a waste of time. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'm yeah, like, you know when you're browsing on, I like, got loads of mates that just like go on their phone for like two or three hours or yeah. just watch YouTube videos and I always feel too guilty. Right. Like, I was always try and uh, like read, read something or or at least try and like do a few sketches. Right. And if not that, like do a bit of inter- exercise, like stuff good for your mental health. Mm. Or like, I don't know, learn something. Like what, I watch a lot of documentaries. <laughs> But not just like scroll on social media. Yeah, no, I, not- I mean I respect that. I wish I I could get on social media more often. And yeah. uh, like, pff, I mean it's a bunch of garbage. Let's be honest, it's not worth it. <laughs> we could be doing so much more and so much better things with our time if we got off social media. But at the same time, I don't know. I don't know because without the people on social media, like, I'm thankful of the people who use social media. Yeah, I mean, the people who live under the rock, we don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, like, people that are always on social media, they always know like, what's, what's up, like, what's yeah. going on down at the, like, in, in, in the scenes in Glasgow, like, yeah. what gigs are on, like, what yeah. trends are happening and stuff like that. Like, without my, without my mates, like, I wouldn't know any of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, it needs to be, like, <clears throat> a balance some people on it, some people off it, and yeah. overall, you need to kind of blend out a bit nicer. Yeah, that's really right. I mean, I guess without social media, I probably wouldn't have messaged you. As I wouldn't be in to message you and get in contact and have this right now. So yeah, I mean, it's a good tool. That's the thing. It's a good tool. It's a great tool in moderation. So you're trying to use social media more often for the brand. Yeah, it's a it's an important thing. Yeah. Um, to like just put stuff out people want to see stuff like. yeah so out with and, uh, how do you get the brand name out there how do i get the brand name out there yeah um mostly through instagram uh, yeah. that's, probably my, that's probably my favorite uh and it's where the real uh like golden brand like it's kind of like at the minute I would define it as probably the hub of clothing brands. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. A lot of mar- uh, a lot of marketers are def- are going over there. Right. But for me, like, although I'm studying marketing at college, it's not really uh, about like making money and targeting and pushing the brand out there. It's just like it's more the social media is more of like a like a, a mental energy for me because mm. <laughs> it's nice to see that people like my stuff yeah and it, it makes it makes me want to make more stuff yeah so, like it, yeah like, it feeds it as well yeah yeah so like that can't be bad like but it's, it's more of a thing like yeah uh, it's not i don't really mind how many teas i sell to be honest no. <laughs> like, i don't want to be like nike or like these <laughs> massive brands i'm quite happy just selling a couple teas like that means a lot to me to be honest uh there's like this um this book that one of my uh one of my mates was reading and if he's listening to this he'll probably slate me because i'll probably like refer to it terribly or it was like not the point at all but he was reading the book and it was really interesting a philosophy one and the book was like to cut a long story short the the book was much to do about nothing (laughs) Like you got to the end and you're like, what was that about? It's just like this guy going around his mundane tasks or something like that. Right. And the whole point of the book is this guy died like a long time ago. But he'd written this book and the book was like philosophically his legacy of living on. Right. So like even though he died like, like I don't know, thousands, thousands of years back, probably yeah. wasn't thousands, probably just like a couple hundred. Right. Like, it's pretty incredible that someone in 2020 would be reading about him. Yeah. yeah. So that was his way of living on. So his his book is my mousey, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Mousey. Like, yeah, it just kind of gives uh, it kind of gives me a purpose in life, to be honest. Right. That's 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 what it's about. Yeah, because you've now you've created something like very few people. I mean, there's a lot of creative people out there, but. 
as a whole, there's very few creative people. And mm. all those creative people, as soon as they've created something, then that thing can last longer than them. So then that is the legacy. So yeah, you have created a legacy already. And it's just... Okay. It's <laughs> the mostly a legacy. It's the mostly legacy, yeah. It's the, you, it's the mostly religion. Man. <laughs> mostly religion. Man, I've already, <laughs> already got my disciples following. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little cult. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> so where, where do you actually see Mousy going? I'll kind of just walk its own path. I'll, yeah. walk, I'll, I'll let it walk its own path. Yeah. Um, but uh, it'd be nice. Uh, I wouldn't mind it getting like relatively big. But yeah. if it doesn't, I'm not really bothered. I'm just quite uh, quite happy just doing my thing. Um, so like relatively it, is big. it is fun, like doing all the little projects and stuff. Yeah. So when you say relatively big, what do you mean by that? Like just big enough that you can get by purely off of that as its own business? Yeah. Yeah. Like generate like <clears throat> right right now. Um, because we because we set such low prices that I'm not really bothered about profit. I'd rather mm. just like if someone wants a tea that I've made, like I'm not gonna charge them like forty quid for it. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, like if they want it, they can have it yeah. <laughs> for like for like a, a reasonable, an extremely reasonable amount of money. Yeah. Like, you know, I just kind of want them to have their tea <laughs> if they so, like it. it. Means more to me. What um. Is there like when you when you take your design and put it on a shirt, t shirt, how do you go about that? Like do you have do you do you like seek out very specific garments that you want to put on? Like what what do you do? Do you go this suits best on this type of whatever or what's going on there? Um <clears throat> Well, a recent venture we've been uh, going into is uh, eco friendly. Um, right eco-friendly clothing and yeah. ethical so that's stuff like uh, organic cotton and bamboo all oh, right right um, yeah yeah right like all the stuff we're going to be making all the releases from now on will be on these like organic cotton and bamboo material uh, just because they're the garments are approved by associations like PETA and GOTS which are like the global organic textile standard oh, and right. it means it means that it's good for it's like good for you guys as well like for people who buy it because it means you're not contributing to like yeah evil basically yeah and um, they, they basically make sure gots make sure that farmers like cotton farmers uh bamboo farmers they get paid fairly they're not getting paid peanuts right. like they can make a decent right. living uh so we're not work like we're not gaining off the sweat and tears of them guys you know yeah and uh, they are more likely to dispose of their chemical waste uh, like effectively and right. correctly rather than polluting it into like rivers and stuff where like villages are getting terrible water you know like poisoned right. water and animals are dying because they don't have the f supply to the fresh water that's what PETA makes sure um, right make sure it's not happening that's good that you've uh, valued that and made that yeah. for the company uh, yeah so that's that's how we choose our our garments uh, to like to print on see uh well during lockdown how did you find that did the did Mousy get more traction then because a lot more people were on the phone during lockdown or did they get less because i don't know it's harder to get the word of mouth out there I was uh, honestly, I was um, I was I was pretty late to the scene on the lockdown thing. <laughs> I wasn't uh, I wasn't like doing much posting much mousy stuff right. uh, during lockdown, so though I I couldn't tell you. But right yeah, now we're, we're basically we're basically still in the lockdown, mm. and all the all the marketing I've been doing for mousy these days. Um, yeah, it's, that's why I'm saying like that's why I'm feeling like it's kicking off because I'm getting more feedback than ever, and that's probably due to people being on their phones. Mm. So yeah, an answer to your question, man. Yeah, so <laughs> definitely. It makes I'm going on there. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How did you personally find lockdown? Um, 
I feel really bad saying this, but I had a great lockdown. Yeah, me too. I feel bad. <laughs> I know, yeah. I feel I feel bad because I'm I'm aware of the fact that like millions of people had a absolutely abysmal lockdown, you know, like really bad. So yeah. I I feel like I can't like I feel guilty for having an all right one. And yeah. I'm lucky. The fact that uh it never reached like it never affected any of, of the people that I that I know, really. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Never been as fit. Fit as a fiddle, man. <laughs> and like, got loads of designs done. Uh, got like a website designed. Nice. Uh, yeah, like, start read a few books. That's Second, pretty, yeah. Yeah, pretty pretty cool. Cool. yeah, It was way more lax in the countryside. So yeah. the same, I'm for shout out to Peebles. <laughs> 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 like, like that, that place was a bit of a lockdown paradise. Because right. you're just surrounded by nature and hills and stuff, and you can, and it's not the city, so the, the coppers were pretty relaxed as well. Yeah, so yeah. You could go on walks and and uh, and on the road bike and just yeah. have a have a good time. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like your your only uh, sense of freedom was like concrete and tar roads, but you could actually get out there and experience like the trees and the green grass and the blue skies. Um, I w- I always say that living in people's is like living in the, <laughs> see the hobbits, like the shire. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, it's, it's kind of like that. <laughs> um, do you want to give your website, your social medias number and a shout out right now? Get people onto them? Oh, yeah. Well, the website's currently down. Okay. And but do you want to get my shout out ready for it coming back up? <laughs> well... When it's up, we'll let you know, and the re- and, how, and how you'll know is you'll be following Mousy Official, uh, which is our Instagram account. Is uh, it just Instagram? Yeah. Have you got anything else? Any other social medias? Twitter, um, Facebook, anything like that? Um, social uh, in terms of social media, Instagram's probably the, the one to go for. Right, um, so everyone wants to check out the Mousy Mousy Official. We do have a Facebook and a Twitter, but I never really post anything there. <laughs> <laughs> really well. <laughs> I'm just like, nah. <laughs> uh, it's bad. I should use all three, like to that definitely. But the mm-hmm. I'm vibing with uh, the Instagram right now. I uh, mean, you've got a lot on your plate. You you've got the creating the designs, putting them on the garments. Like you're 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 the guy behind all that. You're organizing it all. You're the CEO, the CEO, everything, and you're the yeah, guy. Where's the social media? A one man army. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's they, a lot of work, but like it's it's, uh, it's always worth it in the end. Yeah, Is I'm there just any- hoping at the end of lockdown, uh, we will definitely be organising a fat mousy hole. And for you that don't, you that don't know what a mousy hole is, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's um, nothing to do with ketamine <laughs> <laughs> and mousy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's to do with combining music and mousy. Like we'll organise club nights, and we'll have, usually in broadcast in Glasgow. And right. I will sell a punt or tees there for like sale prices. Right. Um, and we'll we get together. Uh, art, we'll try to get together artists that aren't very well known. Right. Like DJs. And I'm, I hope to do like some live acts and stuff as mm. well, like, like proper bands. But yeah, it's like, yeah, it's just like a, a combination of the visual arts with the audio arts, and you come along and hear a bit of something new, and that's the idea. And I'm, I'm gonna cop a mousey to you if you feel like it. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> when do you think uh, those kind of live events will be happening again? I've honestly no clue. Uh, I've, I've been messaging the clubs and stuff, and they're just like. No um, problem, <laughs> like, because yeah. everyone's just getting pushed back and pushed back, and I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, we'll be on lockdown for a while, but I I feel like it's just like a no- normal way of life now. Yeah, <laughs> it's been like it's been like this so long that half the days I wake up, I don't even think about it anymore. It's just uh, the new normal. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess it'll never really be normal. We'll just accept that that's the way it is now, and that's that. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it, G. I always feel like after the lockdown as well, it's going to be weird. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna take a while for people to like get used to not having the distance and stuff. Yeah, and tr- yeah, trying to be normal again and act normal and, and interact yeah. and, and hug and all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah, you you just feel you just like feel you got uncomfortable and you'd be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but like, t- take a step back, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mad. <clears throat> Is there uh, anything else you want to talk about? Anything you want to give a shout out to? Anything like that? Uh, oh, my boy Ogle. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great guy. I, I only really bumped into him in the slot then, but um, he's he's got his own uh, woodwork sort of set up from the girl. It's woodwork? Some, yeah, it's like class. It's like some proper gangster stuff. <laughs> If woodwork could ever be gangster, <laughs> no, it's class. You see, it just does like, a little thing. Like my favorite, you should check out is the uh, the rustic bottle opener. That's a banger. It's like a, a it's like this simple bit of wood, but like you can open your bottles with it. It's amazing. <laughs> and then, like he sells all sorts like trays and stuff. But why I'm mentioning him is we're. Uh, he's doing a collab. I'm doing a collaboration with him on the mousy boards, like skateboards. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, Wait, yeah. he's made the skateboards. He's made the decks. Ah, uh, he orders them in because <clears throat> it takes a lot of like machinery and stuff. Right. But even when you're ordering the boards, it still takes a lot of work because you've got to grip them and yeah. like, sand. Like, they come pretty rough. I'm guessing you have to like sand them and then treat them. And he does. Yeah. Like, I'll send him the designs and. You'll have to uh, like paint onto the board with stencils using spray paint and right. acrylic paint, and Jeez. then put layers on top of it, like gloss layers and protection layers on top of the design, so it's um, like retail ready. Yeah, but, big, yeah, big, yeah. Big, like, and then shout out to that man. Social media? Do you want to give that a plug? What's his name? Uh, at, at Ogle. At Ogle. Ogle. Yeah, yeah. O G L E. Nice. Yeah, that's a brother. But yeah, well, yeah. thank you very much for uh, speaking with me. It's been great to talk to you. Uh, oh, pleasure's all mine, man. No, thank you. Um, I hope you stay happy and healthy, and you're killing it. So keep at it. Thank you. Thank you.